Hi, this is Shira Rubinov. I'm president of Cybersphere, a future in brew. I'm here with Melissa Bishoping from Tanium. Melissa, pleasure to be with you here today. Absolute pleasure. My name is Melissa Bishoping, director of endpoint security research at Tanium. I want to hear about Tanium's Guardian. So much talk around here about the conference, heard a lot of folks speaking about it, but I'd love you to give an overview to our audience. Tanium Guardian is the most impactful, most important work I think I have ever done in my career. This is on and I've been really passionate about basically since I started at the company. So Guardian is curated intelligence by our team of experts, this group of brilliant individuals that I get to work with that help me make sense of what is the biggest, most severe vulnerability I need to worry about in my environment right now. And not just where is it, but we want to give you the packages, the content to actually go out there and fix those. Uh, as, I, as I said in one of my speeches earlier today, I want to save more Friday nights. I want to keep people at the office and be able to let them go home because they know they've tackled these issues. There's a lot of organizations out there, a lot of companies, a lot of solutions they could identify, they give visibility. They're like, take this information, now we'll fix it. So we're saying, here it is, we're gonna give it to you and we're gonna fix it for you. So it's the multi-level approach that really solves, identifies and solves. Can you talk to that point a little more? Absolutely, so I've, I've worked in organizations before as, as an engineer myself, where I'm taking a report about vulnerabilities from maybe one system and then I'm having to turn around and figure out how to fix it in another, what changes are available to me. And that burn is a lot of valuable time. In addition to, I've got to read an article, I've got to go read the vendor's notes, I've got to actually understand the thing that I'm fixing. That's a really valuable amount of time that you could be actually moving into that remediation phase instead and saving your team's energy. And I think that's really important. A lot of tools are really focused on, well, we can tell you what it is and it's a single point solution. I have this dynamic, extensible platform in my hands, and the beauty of Varian is that I get to use different pieces and components of it, and I get to, to orchestrate across it how we're going to solve these. Because as a security expert, it doesn't matter what a tool was designed for or how you normally use it. In a crisis, if it's the right tool for the job, you need to put it to work. Definitely gets it done. Every organization is not wondering if we're going to be attacked, it's when we're going to be attacked. And obviously, being proactive in somebody's cybersecurity stance is critical and not just being reactive, which in the past, that's how most organizations said, let's have our plan for when this happens. But we need to step ahead of the game, the cybersecurity world to completely jump to that space. So can you talk to that point in terms of proactive cybersecurity approach? It's easy to talk on the points of like, we should be patching, we should be monitoring, we should be ensuring the health of our different tools and our security stack. But I also think that we need to move into more proactive threat funding. And that's, that's how you get up the chain and maturing what you're doing. Are you just looking at telemetry and and basic visibility detection or had you got those bases covered so that you can start hunting for adversary behavior and then you can start looking for new techniques as they're emerging in the threat landscape and i think that is what matures an organization into proactive or react so interesting as we said looking for new types of areas it's like let's look for the patterns that kind of jump out at us that's not the case anymore. I borrow a phrase from my husband. He says, always look for what's dumb, different, or dangerous. Nice. If it sticks out, if it looks a little odd, or if it makes you kind of tilt your head and go, is that supposed to be there? It might be worth digging in. And when you have this amount of telemetry and data at your hands, literally at your fingertips, you can start looking for outliers. You can start making hypothesis-driven searches of your own. And with a platform like Tanium, you can then convert that into intelligence to hunt through your environment in real time looking for not only where do I see this right now, but I want to know if it comes back again or I want to see if it's in here. That is the definition of being proactive. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insight, not just into Tanium, but into the whole area itself. And I always ask my interviewees for a cybersecurity tip for the audience. Everybody's always scrambling. What is the first thing I need to do? What should I think about? And everybody has different perspectives and I'd love to hear yours. And I know our audience would love to hear yours. Hygiene basics are still an essential. And everyone wants to immediately jump to the really fun parts of ninjas coming through the skylights that we all hear about. Get your basic IT hygiene fundamentals under control, get your telemetry locked down, and you're going to be able to force multiply what your threat hunting teams and what your incident responders are able to do on that. That's great for this advice. And Melissa, what a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you. And I'm sure our audience really enjoyed what you had to say. So thank you. Well, appreciate it. And thank you to our audience.